I don't know what to think. I just want to know more. I'm confused. A local teenage high school student has under arrest tonight. Deputies say that they found a Shingle Springs woman dead at her home. And tonight, the deputies say that they have arrested her nephew for murder. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. Authorities arrested this teen this afternoon at Ponderosa High School after he reportedly brought a gun to campus. New tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live in Shingle Springs with the details for us. Jennifer? Sam and Christina, students were shocked to hear there was a gun on campus, but never suspected anything like this. That teenager was brought into custody and charged with murdering his aunt. I'm just stunned. I'm just stunned. Herschel Leffler stood in disbelief trying to find out any information from deputies. He had no idea the teen arrested for having a gun on campus was the boy he's mentored for the past seven years. I don't know what to think. Much like the rest of the community, the school district sent home an email this morning to alert parents that a school resource officer discovered the teen had a loaded gun on campus. Oh, I called my kids right away, and I was like, what is going on at school? And they were like, oh, yeah, some really nice kid. He's a good kid. The neighbor tells me the woman has been missing for a few days. Then this morning, her body was discovered in the backyard. Talked to him a couple days ago when he picked this night. I said, how about, you know, Wednesday or Thursday to go see Star Wars? Herschel says the 16-year-old lived here with his great aunt and uncle. He was a varsity cross-country runner and, in his eyes, a good kid. He says it's a wonderful family and can't imagine what led to this tragedy on Neef Lane. Officials have been tight-lipped on the ongoing investigation but believe this teenager is the sole one involved in his aunt's murder. Jennifer McGraw live in Shingle Springs for us. Jennifer, thank you. Communities are